Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of the China EV Show. I'm your host Toby as usual and today we're going to be talking about NEO and its recent strategic cooperation agreements with two of the big brands, big groups in China. So last week we had them signing a strategic cooperation with Chang'an who are one of the big state-owned automakers in the country. Massive brand, mass market cars, sell loads of cars every every month uh, which is great but to add to this Chang'an also have JVs with Mazda and also with Ford. So would this JV kind of open the door to Neo maybe building battery swaps with Ford in America or with Mazda in the Japanese market? I guess we'll find out in the future. But basically, it's a very, very good news. It opens the door to a lot of possibilities. And then this week, yesterday, actually, we saw that there was a strategic cooperation signed between Neo and Geely Group, uh, which is obviously another massive uh, group automaker in China with loads of brands, perhaps too many brands, some would say, beneath it, which is not really great news for Neo because, again, it opens the door to the battery shopping being used by lots of brands, building battery shopping together, helping build battery shopping stations for Geely and its brands. For me, I feel like this would be something suited to the Zika brand, the Lotus brand, kind of like the more premium brands. And of course, we have the Galaxy brand, which is another kind of mass market. Um, uh, EV brand for the masses. So for me, this also says that Geely, although it spent some money invested in battery swapping, it was more focused on the commercial side. So we saw it in some of their Tao Tao cars and also some electric trucks. But I don't think they're capable of doing it for ba passenger vehicles. I think it's a little bit too rough around the edges. So they're going to turn to the battery swapping masters for their assistance. My only concern is I actually associate battery swapping with premiumness, maybe incorrectly. I think it's because Neo came out with it and did it well. Will these corporations kind of open the floodgates to everyone, every brand like Chang'an, all of Geely's brands being able to use battery swapping? I would actually kind of bring the peel of battery swapping down because right now battery swapping is reserved to a few brands. It's kind of smooth. All right, there's not many stations, but there's enough of people at the moment and it's kind of working out well. And if the floodgates are open to all these brands, even kind of entry level brands, will it kind of bring this appeal down? You know, they're going to have stations which are full of people. Of course, they're going to build more stations, but it's going to become a similar problem to how charging stations are now. Where there's sometimes too many people and sometimes everything doesn't work. And da -da 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 -da. at least with a with charging station, one of the chargers doesn't work, you can go to the one next door. With a battery swapping station, how's that going to work? Are they going to have someone on site looking after it? And if it breaks, they're going to fix it or they're going to have to wait for someone to come out. So there's a lot, um, a lot to consider here. But all in all, it's really great news for Neo, and it opens up their battery swapping to so many different brands that battery swapping could actually potentially become the norm in the EV industry. Perhaps in China first, then Europe, then the rest of the world. Because if all these brands are going to adopt battery swapping, then it's going to make more sense to use battery swapping. Battery swapping can be done much more quicker and built faster than uh, high voltage superchargers and stuff. Because just kind of like a container unit sitting on the ground, it's uh, less of a burden on the electrical infrastructure of the community. So this is actually something that could be built fairly quickly if it has the support of all these big brands, especially those who have presences in Europe, in America, around the world. And now that these, now that these two brands, these two big brands have joined Neo and in some strategic cooperation, will the rest follow suit? Will it be a case of everyone's going with Neo? Neo going to be, Neo going to be the battery swapping guys. Maybe they'll be the people who are more associated with battery swapping than their actual cars. Who knows in the future? Of course, they have plans to release their other brands, they're actually lower level brands, but it seems to me that they're getting a lot of support for their battery swapping. What do you think of Neo's recent news? Do you think it's good news? Do you think other brands will follow? Do you think Chang An and Geely made a mistake by signing corporations with them? Or do you think they made it the right thing and the battery swapping is the future, or at least it's a good alternative to super fast charging? Let us know in the comments below. I'm Toby, and I'll see you next time on the China EV Show.